Hello folks, welcome to this new video from Pandadi Power. Today I want to show you how to use those pair of Joy-Cons right here on PC to play PC games. And it will be the easiest way to pair them and to configure them to be as much as possible suitable to your specific needs. So if you're ready, let's jump in. So firstly first, what you have to do is to pair your Joy-Cons controllers with your PC via Bluetooth. Okay, so it's a very easy thing to do. You just have to right click on show Bluetooth device here. I will hold the button on each Joy-Con controllers and it will start blinking. So you hold the button for two or three seconds. You click on add device, Bluetooth, and you will see, in my case, the right controller appearing here. You click on it and it will connect to it and it will pair it with your computer. So as you can see, it's paired here. Okay, it's here. Now I will do the same for the left controller. I will hold the button on the side, it starts blinking, I will add the device, Bluetooth, and the left controller is appearing here, I click and it's connecting to it, and it's connected now, and I should have the controller appearing here into the list. Alright, so my two controllers are now connected. If you see that it's continuing blinking on the side, um, no worries, it's not a, a very big issue. I, I can understand that it's a little bit annoying, but it's not an issue itself. The controllers are working pretty well. And with the software I am going to show you and I will invite you to install, I will say as a next step in this tutorial, you shouldn't see the blinks on the, on the side of the controllers. So the next step is to go onto this website here it's the software that we are going to use. It's the software that is giving you, um, I will say, a lot of power on the configuration you want to achieve as a Nix input controller because the goal here is to make your Joy-Con controllers recognized as X input controller. And with this software, it will be possible. And I will add also that it will be very easy to set up and to configure. So you click on download to have the free 14 day trial. It's the starting point here. You download, you have the file to open here. All right, so you agree and you install. It will install on your computer. It will install like different virtual drivers uh, behind the scene to be able to handle a, a variety of controllers easily. So you have to restart your computer here, okay? On my side, I won't do it. I'm pretty sure to, it will work, but because I have a, a recording right now and it will cut everything and after that it will be a big mess to uh, to make my composition and to, to create my video. But uh, on your side, I recommend that you restart. So please restart. On my side, I will just go there and write rewards and click on it. So yes. So finally, I have to restart. It would definitely be longer for me than you, okay? So now that my computer restarted, I will have to um, turn on my Joy-Con controllers. As you can see, they are starting, they are connecting. And uh, okay, it's maybe weird, but I don't have anything on the side, like proving that it's connected. But when I click on the button here, it's doing nothing and here the blue button is is uh, up and running but when I will launch the software it will um, repair all that weird stuff okay so coming back here so I will launch uh, the software we was so it's here so it detected already uh, these two controllers I can see that it's vibrating as you can see as you can hear okay so this one was the left and this one is the right one okay 
So now, if I want to use the Joy-Cons, the two Joy-Cons as an X input controller, it's very easy. I just have to click on the right controller, Joy-Con controller here. I will pair into the software here, into Rewards, the left Joy-Con controller with the right Joy-Con controller to make a unique controller. So the left is here, I will put the right one and I will save, click on save here. Now I have a unique controller. So the two of them are making one, okay, as one. I will click here, I will click on switch to Xbox 360. And as you can see, if I click on A, it's going there directly. So it's already all the binding are done, okay? If I click here, if I click there, okay? And I will just apply click on apply and now as you can see on the side here the green button is here and you can see that the blue button is here too and so the remap is on here so Rewast is creating a virtual X, X input controller or Xbox 360 controllers it's exactly the same as an Xbox One controller it's all X input behind the scene so it's creating a unique X input controller with my Joy-Con left and Joy-Con right controller. So now I will just show you Steam because I think it's simpler because Steam is, is working as basically as uh, a, a game. So it's using by default the, the X input controller. So I'm running Steam into Big Box. All right, and as you can see, I am able to go everywhere. I am able to click on A, I'm going into the library, and I have all my games displayed here. If I click on B, it's going, it's, it's uh, getting out of the previous window. So everything is set up there. One thing that can be annoying, and it depends on the configuration you want to do, is that the binding for the B and A and Y and X. So the B is the A, the A is the B, and the Y is the X, and the X is the Y is Y. Okay, so it's uh, everything is inversed. And if I want to, I will say on my side it's not an issue because I know that on the B position it's like the A usually uh, with the Nix input uh, controller like Xbox One controller. You have the A at this uh, specific position as you can see. Okay, and if you're looking at any uh, Nintendo controllers, it could be uh, for Super Nintendo or any Nintendo controllers, it's inversed, okay? Or it's the Xbox One controller that is the inverse of uh, Nintendo controllers. Uh, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to debate on that. Who is wrong on, on the position of the button, but it's inverse. So if you want to fix that, it's uh, really easy. You go here and you click on A. As you can see, it's mapped with the B right now. So you click on the A and you go into the list and you say that you want specifically here, it will be the A. Especially here on the B, you want the B, right? So I have to find the B. Where is my B? A, where is my B? Okay, I think it was at the bottom. B, 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 B. B is here. And you do the same for the X. This one will be X. And this one will be Y. Y, Y, Y. And every time you do a change, you click on apply. And uh, I would say that's it. It's uh, creating a new virtual controller, X input controller. And now if I launch Steam again, now the A is the A, and if I click on the B, I will go outside of the previous window. A, I'm going into, and everything is working as is expected. So the binding is, is exactly what you have here on the controller. Uh, one last advice, because you will see that it could be complicated. Let's say you have a remap of your uh, controllers but you want to use your controllers natively with let's say yuzu okay yuzu is natively and correctly i will say handling 
your Joy-Cons. If you are remapping them with rewasts, it will handle it like an Xbox One controller or an X input controller. Yuzu will see your controllers as X input controller. So you won't be able to enjoy from your Joy-Con controllers the motion that are inside them. Okay, it's very important to understand that. So my advice here is every time you want to use your Joy-Cons with uh, Yuzu, and especially if you want to use your uh, Joy-Cons horizontally instead of vertically, horizontally, to play Mario Party or any games uh, requiring horizontal uh, controllers, you will be in trouble if you're not deactivating into rewards your remapping so it's very easy you just have to click on here on the on the square or the rectangle and your remap is off that's it that's all so your joy cons will natively be supported by yuzu you just have to launch your yuzu and it will be uh, working right away out of the box thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i did it to help you because i'm I would say that rewards, even if it's a software that you have to pay for, is definitely the way to go today to have a proper handling of your Joy-Con controllers on your Windows 11. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video. I have a bunch of videos coming and uh, every time I have some ideas, I am putting them onto videos. So stay tuned and uh, Thank you very much. Bye-bye.